What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're here with more of a discussion piece where I want to actually talk about Super Tandem. So Super Tandem has been out for about a month now actually definitely longer than that and I want to just go ahead and give my thoughts and opinions on this whole brand new mechanic since the anniversary's release. So Super Tandem is like super controversial in a way because while it is super awesome that we are getting the Tandem mechanic with a rework and it is super awesome and a lot of people love it. The problem is, is there are definitely some things about it that I am kind of worried about, not only just for units that have released recently, but also for units in the future could really deter people from really wanting to get these Super Tandem characters. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Uh, first things first, though, I do want to discuss just overall positives of the Super Tandem mechanic because it's not all doom and gloom. It is a very good designed mechanic in terms of the gameplay aspect of it. So obviously the, the biggest thing about it in, in terms of the first thing that I thought about when we first saw how this all worked is duplicate characters are actually going to be way more valuable for these characters. Pulling dupes of all of these char characters you're seeing on screen right now are going to be awesome because you can feed them into it. Not only are you leveling up their level limit break, but also getting their super tandem to the next level. For example, Kaido here, I did pull a dupe of him and getting him to the super tandem level two, meaning that his ability is upgraded, obviously is huge. Um, and obviously with super tandem introducing these new mechanics that can actually stack on top of every other buff that you already will be activating during the quest. So Kaido, for example, gives a tandem attack boost of 1.5 times at level 2, and that does stack with other attack boosts that you activate. Another thing as well is that these do not activate enemy interrupts, so they're just amazing buffs that you can get when you when you're able to activate them of course not everyone is able to activate on every single turn such as Kaido here but just the fact that you're able to get that non-interruptible and stackable with everything else is a huge asset to have and while it is difficult to level up these abilities and you do need duplicates or these tablets in order to do that um, you're not really required to have these abilities to beat content at this current point in time so of course you know maybe later on down the track with Grand Voyage these abilities are going to be pretty powerful to have just free damage out of the blue is obviously going to be very useful so at this current point in time as of the recording of this video they're not required for content which is at least something that is good but that's pretty much where it goes in terms of what i think about the positives of the super tandem mechanic i definitely have some interesting points i wanted to bring up to you guys and maybe you guys can let me know down below in the comment section how you guys think about my opinions and maybe what you guys think overall about the mechanic as its entirety so let's just jump into it right so the first thing is is that you know the, when you pull the character from a sugo fest the character is never going to be at maximum potential and what i mean by that is is that your character is going to have super tandem level one when you limit break them and you'll have the level one super tandem ability which of course is the lowest attack and lowest beneficial buff that you get from the super tandem mechanic which you know is not really that surprising and I'm, a lot of people kind of understand that already but it's also just the fact that the activation requirement for all of these super tandem characters is pretty annoying to deal with as we see with kid you need two driven characters and one of them have to be one of the following characters in killer heat wire or luffy and the problem kind of also stems from the condition of these super tandems because there are not a lot of good killers heat wire or monkey d luffy characters that also fulfill the conditions for the captain ability because he is a driven and a striker captain and how many good monkey d luffy's are in the game that are driven or striker not that many and how many good heat and why characters are in the game not that many and to be honest there's not really that many good killer characters in the game either so that is an inherent flaw with the design of this character in the fact that you're not really going to be getting his super tandem to activate in a lot of cases because you have to shoehorn these specific characters into your team in order to get these abilities to activate and while once you do that these abilities are very strong as i said uninterruptible and stackable the fact that you have to do that makes it that much more annoying in the team in the team building aspect and it kind of makes it like where this character is only going to be very good on very niche circumstances where those crew members killer heat wire or luffy that you can find for this character 
are very good for the content that you come up against at that point in time, then yeah, this particular character used as kid is going to be one of those characters that you want to use for that content. But once again, as we said, these abilities are not required for the character to be very good. And it just means that characters that have easier activatable super tandem abilities are going to be more valuable as time progresses. And while I do really like, for example, that used as kid, I think he's a phenomenal legend just overall. He's going to be very difficult to activate and why I think uh, a lot of people probably are not going to use him in a lot of content. He has a lot going for him, but the fact is, is that he's kind of difficult to use for that super tandem ability, which is why we use these characters in general, because these super tandem abilities are awesome, free buffs that, again uninterruptible and stackable. But honestly, the biggest gripe that I currently have with Super Tandem is the condition to activate the Super Tandem abilities. And the fact that every time you level up these characters' Super Tandem abilities, the condition will also alter and in my opinion, I don't like that at all, because as we said before, when you pull the character, the character is going to be in its weakest state. So. Even though the ability is going to be significantly worse than what you're going to get at Super Tandem level 5, I don't understand why they don't make the condition at least easy to fulfill. So, you know, you're going to be getting less of a boost, but at least you're able to get the boost in the first place and why this character is built with this mechanic. Like, you look at this Monkey D. Luffy, for example, you've got the Super Tandem level 1, where you need both a Zoro and a Sanji character to activate the Super Tandem. So, a Zoro and a Sanji, there's lots of good Zoras and Sanji in One Piece Treasure Cruise. Not that many, though, that are both fighter or free spirit, so you do have to take that into account. But at least, you know, this is going to be relatively easy to fulfill, and you just get a 1.5 attack boost to free spirit um, characters, which is, you know, not really the best, considering this character is boosting both free spirit and fighter, so there is that. But then, of course, when you level up to level 2, the condition doesn't change. Level 3, the condition doesn't change. And then, and finally, when you reach level 4, it allows you to use only one Zoro or Sanji, and then you can use one other character that is any of the Straw Hats. That is a much easier condition to fulfill, and I don't understand why that condition was not put at level 1. So even though you have a lot of players out there that are not ever really going to get these characters to Super Tandem level 5, at least they make the condition very easy so that these people can go ahead and use these abilities in the first place, right? I think that would be awesome if they did that. And it is such a shame that we are in that case because I think that considering, you know, the, the powers are way weaker than at level 5, I don't think it's that far of a stretch to really consider having an easier condition to fulfill. And this is just with Monkey D. Luffy and it goes with all of the other characters as well. And I think the biggest one here is honestly with Kaido because his condition actually changes multiple times throughout. So you've got level 1 where you need King, Queen or Jack on your crew, you need two of them on your crew, but then as soon as you hit level 2 with one more duplicate or feeding one of those Super Tandem tablets, it allows you to use one of the Toby Ropo members as well, which is a huge upgrade to the character. You just get access to so many other better units, even like the Kizuna Legend X Drake, which came out recently too, who hybrids very well with this Kaido character. And then if you get to level four, it allows you to go ahead and use one of those units on your crew for the condition can be just a striker character. So that is awesome. You have one character that is King Queen or Jack, or the Topi Robo members, or a striker character as well. So that is a huge benefit to the character. And yes, obviously the actual effect of the of the actual uh, Super Tandem does change. Um, I, I would have preferred if the Super Tandem condition at level 4 was just the same one at level 1, despite the fact that the effect was weaker. And even if they did do that, I wouldn't mind if the effect as a whole was significantly weaker, considering, as we said, uninterruptible and also stackable with other buffs. I just think it's a really weird design choice. I understand why they're doing it, because it makes them more money in the long run. But as a player, looking at it from my perspective, I do think that it is kind of a, a shitty thing to do. And it is just annoying as well, because I do feel like that at Super Tandem level 1, it's pretty much a waste, because it's wasting a potential ability slot, which could be something that is way more valuable to your crew. Whereas at level 5, yeah, I completely understand it. It makes a lot of sense. The ability is nice to get. And at level 5, it's easy to activate. It gives you a very significant power boost. But at level 1 or even level 2, for some cases, for these characters, 
Like, it is just a wasted potential ability slot because either the condition is too hard to fulfill in a lot of content, or the ability just really doesn't matter in a lot of cases, right? Um, so, it is kind of a shame that it is built in such a way where, you know, it is just taking up a full potential ability slot. And while potential abilities in and of itself are not going to, again, be like the win or lose condition of content, uh, it is just really annoying that you have to have this wasted potential ability slot on on these uh, super tenem abilities which in a lot of cases you're not going to get to activate and really just shoehorning these characters into your team to fulfill these conditions for super tenem is a huge detriment to all of these units but i mean as we said before super tenem isn't required for content and we understand that but that's the reason why these characters exist in the first place because of the super tenem mechanic so because of super tandem and we look at it from that perspective I really do think that this could be a problem moving forward, and as we, as we had a look before with Eustace Kid, the condition for his super tandem is really, really weird, weird and wacky, honestly, and it doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's very difficult to fulfill, especially at the early levels. Definitely at level 4 and 5, it makes a lot more sense and it's easier to, to deal with, but uh, in the earlier levels, Kid is very, very difficult to use for that super tandem ability, and again, with Blackbeard as well, and I think Blackbeard is probably the best example of what I'm about to say now, is that I think that characters in the future are really going to be interesting to see in terms of their design aspects of their super tandem abilities, because with Blackbeard, he is so focused around using his crew members, all of these Blackbeard pirates, and actually with his condition, it doesn't change at all, which is... Again, a big problem because if you're not using those Blackbeard Pirates, you're never going to get the ability to activate. And while it makes sense thematically for the character, in terms of actual use cases in content, it's going to be pretty difficult to use an ability like this, which is so annoying. And it just means as well that, you know, you really have to dedicate yourself to using these Blackbeard Pirates if you want Super Tandem to be activated. Yes, they can be used without the Super Tandem, but I'm just looking at the mechanic in general, right? And it really makes me think, what are they going to do for future characters? Like... I know that there's a lot of good characters that they could use for the Doflamingo family or Baroque works if they do a crocodile version of this character, but different groups of characters, you really have to make sure that those groups of characters have actually good units. And I know that when they release these new units, they're going to release a whole batch of characters, free to play and summonable that work with them. But if you're only just releasing that one batch of characters for that unit, and then you just leave them and do something else, that, like, that batch of characters might not get an update of units for over a year. And at that point, that character is basically useless. So, you know, feeding Super Tandem tablets into characters like that, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So you really have to pick and choose where you feed those tablets, which makes a lot of sense. We've already had to go through that with Final Tap. But it just it just makes me think. I just really don't know how they're going to be doing it in the future. And I, I guess it's going to be in similar in a similar vein of Blackbeard, where release the character, free-to-play and summonable units, and then that's that, right? So, uh, character like Blackbeard, you're basically never going to get this Super Tandem ability to activate just due to the fact that there's not a lot of good Blackbeard pirates. And unless if those specific Blackbeard pirate characters are good for the content that you want to face, at that point, yeah, you're probably going to get it to activate. But outside of that, generally speaking, you're never really going to see it. So that's basically been my rant in terms of the super tandem mechanic. So definitely let me know down below in the comment section, what are your thoughts and opinions about it? Do you like the mechanic? I think a lot of people enjoy playing with these super tandem characters. But I can understand where people would be coming from in terms of the characters not being able to be used in a lot of content to see these super tandem abilities be activated. And while they are good, they're very difficult to see. And, you know, you do need a lot of dupes in order for them to be actually useful. I mean, Kaido was probably the biggest one and even Luffy to a certain extent. Those characters that release for the anniversary... Yeah, they're very very difficult to, to to use effectively unless if you're pulling a lot of dupes or using those very very rare super tandem tablets but that's going to wrap it up here guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video